Hi, my name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we are talking about Iridium spark plugs on the back of the video I just did about spark plugs in general. So, uh, a question was put to me in the Q&A of why we have Iridium spark plugs and are they good? So, Iridium is the rarest uh, element in the Earth's crust, it is very expensive and so on and so on and so forth. So that's why the spark plugs are expensive. They're not just expensive just for the gimmick of it or marketing. Iridium itself is very expensive. Um, one of the things about Iridium is we've got some specs here. It's melting temperature, um, 2,446 degrees Celsius, uh, 4,400 whatever at Fahrenheit. And then we've got the thermal conductivity which is 147 watts per meter Kelvin, blah, 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 and then resistance. And it's the resistance bit that's important because tungsten has a melting temperature of around about 4,000 degrees C. So you'd think you'd want tungsten instead of iridium. But the thing is with tungsten is, is that it's a resistance is higher than 47.1 uh, nano ohms per meter where tungsten is a lot smaller it's not a lot bigger i'd say a lot bigger it's a bit bigger the thing is with iridium is it's how stable it stays at these high temperatures that's one of the beautiful things about iridium which means you can have a smaller cross section if you actually look at your electrode generally electrodes are made from a mix of nickel alloys chromium stuff like that or tungsten palladium has also been used your tritium yeah that one <laughs> that's been used in all sorts these are all very rare earth metals and platinum is actually used for methanol and that's actually a catalyst that's a completely different thing and i'll go do a video about methanol um, combustion and how platinum plays its uh, role in the combustion of methanol anyway road. so just say you've got a normal nickel uh, a nickel iron um, electrode basically the pointy bit the sticky bit where the spark comes from and your iridium can be a hell of a lot smaller and obviously like i've been talking about before with resistance is your cross section is all to do with current and resistances and if you have a very low resistance you can have a small electrode however when you get to these small sizes it's all about how the molecular structure and the grain structure um, of these materials behaves and how they have phase transitions and whatever and iridium at these high temperatures not this high but at high temperatures can um, maintain its structure a lot better than tungsten can so that's the reason why iridium is one of the best to use uh, what benefits does this give you apart from all the physics and all the numbers iridium basically they just last longer because there is oxygen in your combustion chamber and nearly every single metal even golds and platinums and stuff like that, even the, the noble inert metals, will oxidise um, at when you basically put enough energy into it and there's enough heat. So when you get to these high temperatures, uh, oxides can be produced. Oxides are different than the actual base metal, so usually you have cracks and they break away and they behave differently due to thermal expansion, uh, stuff like that, and grain boundary layer and Gibbs free energy and all the other stuff to do with material sciences. Um, yeah, so basically your iridium um, filament, or your irid uh, iridium electrode, should I say, will generally last longer. Uh, quite easily double, um, maybe three times, maybe four times. Depends, you know, it all depends on your engine and so on and so forth and how good your combustion process is and the design and so on and so forth. But yes, iridium spark plugs, they really don't cost as much as I would think have thought they should because of how rare iridium is any road i hope that cleans that up for a few people if you like i said in my q a if you are going to buy a bike and you're going to have that bike for a long time and you want to change your plugs then you know and you think well, i'll go for the iridium ones yes it's not a bad it's not a bad option at all um some uh the guy who made the comment he did say i think it was um pled motor vlog who asked i think <laughs> and uh, he said that basically he, when he buys a new bike he'll find some iridium plugs in it and chuck them away don't do that that's not unless they are absolutely knackered uh, don't do that that's a bad thing the other thing is as well is because the electrode is so thin when people see these plugs they go fucking hell that's nearly dead it's burnt out and they chuck it away no it is meant to be really thin uh, it lowers the resistance if they can make it thinner and because it, it's stability at high temperatures it will survive so that's Iridium plugs for you and uh, hope that helps you out and I'll see you in a bit.